Hello, today we're going to look at uh, color and photography and we're going to see some uh, photo I shoot with the Fujifilm. There is a common question I get uh, on my blog uh, about uh, the colors and how to get out this color from the files. So I'm going to look at uh, some of these pictures and we will have comment how to get the best from uh, the Fujifilm file. I want to start uh, from my blog because online there is this review I did one year ago about the Fuji X100T. There is some photos I take and you can see this online. And on the comments a lot of people ask me how to get uh, this color, how I did. And for this, uh, this, for this reason I was going to do a selection in Lightroom with different photos of this article. and going to show you that uh, at the end uh, the file doesn't have so big uh, set uh, of regulation and for instance there was a question asking me about uh, if I use the uh, uh, Vusco and uh, I have Vusco installed uh, on, in my Lightroom, I have Vusco profile but honestly I'm not using them because uh, I tend to get already really good color with the Fujifilm uh, uh, color profile that I'm going to show you. So for example this uh, picture here I did a virtual copy so I can uh, reset the settings and get as it is on the original. The first thing I had applied the um, uh, what is like the camera camera calibration. I have applied uh, the remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. That, as you can see, is going to remove a bit the barrel distortion on the line of the horizon. And then uh, when uh, I I have this file with strong uh, uh, contrast or that I want to get strong contrast and strong saturation, I'm going to apply the Fuji uh, color profile that is called Velvia, Camera Velvia. Camera Velvia in some way is going to mimic the same response as the Velvia film. And uh, as you can see already with that we have a really good uh, color balance and then uh, usually I'm going to open a bit the shadow and uh, improve furthermore with the tone curve the contrast so in this way as you can see I'm getting back to the same result I had in the beginning so honestly with two or three uh, settings uh, I have uh, already the the photo ready in this uh, in this case then uh, for instance I can get also this other picture here okay I'm going to do a um, virtual copy so I'm not going to destroy the the original and uh, I'm going to reset uh, the settings okay one thing I want to say because now when I was talking about uh, virtual copy I said I'm going to do a virtual copy to not destroy the original remember that when you're working uh, on the on Lightroom that uh, if it's going to be a raw file or a JPEG, you're never working or you're never destroying your original. You're always working uh, with a set of uh, adjustments uh, on the library itself of Lightroom. But in this case, I just create a virtual copy to have, uh, you know, um, a different copy where to work. And uh, in this case, uh, as you see, origi already the original file is already have a really good. Uh, contrast and uh, saturation and in this case uh, I could add uh, or the Velvia that is the color profile we used before but you, in this case as you as you see I get really really strong blue it's almost uh, unreal and in this case I prefer much more the classic chrome as you can see classic chrome give this simulation as the Kodachrome a bit less saturated but really really nice contrast uh, between this tree and the sky it's almost this tree is going to be silver and I'm going to enhance even more with a little curve of contrast in this way okay and uh, I can further improve a little bit of clarity okay and check uh, my white point uh, and uh, black point okay want to show you to check white point remember or you can do just dragging it or if you click uh, pressing the alt key and drag on the whites uh, 
you can drag until you see like a draw of white then it's the meaning that you have white point so usually you have to drag uh, a bit uh, less than this so in this case that's that's it this is the photo and uh, i can put close to the one before and you can see it's again the same and then uh, for for instance i can edit also this picture here in this uh, landscape i'm going to create a oh sorry i'm going to create create a virtual copy okay and then i'm going to reset so here again uh, uh, i'm always starting with the color profile and uh, usually my two favorite uh, when uh, talking about landscape uh, are or Veldia, like I, I told you, but in this case uh, it's going to get really, really strong saturation, even too much strong saturation. And uh, my second uh, favorite one are the Camera Pro negative high, that in this case is working also really good. Or I can uh, use the Classic Chrome. Classic Chrome is giving uh, a bit as you see less saturation but then i can work uh, with the curve and remember all the time uh, i'm going to increase the contrast uh, with the curve uh, i'm also increasing saturation so in this uh, way i can uh, get a bit of boost uh, from the um, classic chrome in this case as you can see i miss a bit of uh, information the exposure so i'm going to rise up a bit exposure like uh, uh, half of the stop and then i'm going to set the white point uh, as i did before and as you see i get really really strong and nice contrast and uh, what i can do is also to add a um, graduated filter by the way i'm going to cover graduated filter uh, in one of the next uh, movie to show you how i can use it to enhance a picture and to use a different uh, graduated filter so in this case i'm just using on the sky okay and furthermore i can use a small brush with little exposure and uh, just brush here on the rocks to get uh, better here on the highlights okay so that's it and i can show you how it was uh, before okay and uh, how it is after Ah, and uh, let's also enable the color profile correction that, uh, as you can see, is going to remove uh, this uh, uh, little distortion on the horizon and also remove, in this case, this little uh, uh, vignette. And by the way, if I like the vignette, I can always uh, remove from the correction. You see that it's vignetting. I can put uh, zero and I'm going to remove uh, okay the correction of the vignette from uh, from this picture so if you like this uh, movie please uh, subscribe to my channel i'm going to follow different uh, topics in the next uh, weeks about photography portrait uh, and uh, editing uh, and there's always question or, or topic that you want to cover you can uh, write me and send a message it will be nice for me to hear your opinion so thanks and hear you soon <laughs>